Oh, it's a special day for the city of Jacksonville. An iconic landmark reopens for business. We're talking about the Jacksonville Beach Pier. So many people excited about this. They've been waiting for this. Hundreds came out to see the newly renovated structure and enjoy all the sights and the sounds. And our newest reporter, Camrell Eppinger, is joining us live tonight from Jack's Beach. Cam, welcome to the First Coast News family. Thank you for the warm welcome. Opening day kicked off at about 6 a.m. this morning. I had a chance to speak with a few workers here, and they tell me when they arrived here bright and early, early this morning, dozens of people were already standing in line, anxious to see the new renovations and upgrades. I also had a chance to speak with some fishermen, and they say they're excited and ready to get back on the pier and make a big catch. Love it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. For pier manager Ashley Snyder, the anticipation is finally over. I was up at 3.30 this morning because my nerves, I was excited, I was ready. When I got here at 5.30, when I pulled in, I had eight people already waiting at the gate for me. Locals who were all anxiously awaiting to check out the pier's new upgrades and renovations. New deck, we got new handicap spots for the fishermen. We got handicap rails coming up now. Um, both of our bathrooms are now handicap accessible. For avid fisherman Daniel Boone, it's been a long time coming. He's excited to set up shop at just one of his favorite fishing hotspots. Oh, it's great to have it back open. It's so easy to fish out here. Back in October 2016, after Hurricane Matthew, the city was forced to shut down the iconic landmark, which stretches for about 1,300 feet. City Councilman Bill Guilliford says it's unclear when the other half will be completed. Right now, plans are being put in place to elevate the structure so that it can withstand the next hurricane season. Could be as long as 20 months. Um, we're, we're, they're working on design right now, and coming up with a design that would further assure minimal damage. But until then, locals like Kathy Parker will take advantage of the new upgrades and get back to doing her favorite pastime. I'm grateful that they opened this part and we're out to catch fish. Even if I don't catch it, I'm enjoying being on the pier. And the pier will be opening, bright, opening this weekend bright and early starting at 6 and will close at 10 p.m. If you'd like to come out here and enjoy the nice sights and sounds, tickets are just $1. But if you'd like to come out here and fish, tickets are $3. For now, reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, I'm Kemmerall Leppinger, First Coast News on your side.